Scorpio, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for February 2018. So before we jump in, Scorpio, I want to say a big thank you to my friends over at Hair Entourage for hooking me up with this super cute little piece to wear for you guys while I am transitioning my natural hair and growing it out, and I share all of that with you guys as well. So if you want to know any more about Hair Entourage, see the cute pieces that they do. If you're into that, click in the description box down below. I've got all of the details for you, okay? All right, Scorpio, this is a very expressive month for you, just very expressive. But I feel like the expression is one of love. It's a very harmonious one. I don't feel like you're out here just powerhousing your expression or anything like that. And that is because Venus is very much so in play in a Neptunian energy. Venus and Neptune are the Bopsy twins. I love these two together. They're romantic. They like bliss. They're very creative. They really want harmony and love on the table. And those are a big piece of the energies we've got rolling around this month. Now, as we left January, we had the the lunar eclipse and it was happening up in your 10th house very top of your chart so the lunar eclipse you may have been ending a job leaving a job leaving some kind of status that you've had in the world for a very long time and getting ready to transition into another status i.e you know maybe you were a doctor for a very long time and now you are retiring and what are you going to do with yourself right so <laughs> it could be something like that but i think that the expression this month will also help you sift through where you're trying to move in your new calling in the world and what that looks like for you. Now, some of the other things we've got going on this month as well that I actually think are very valuable for you is one, Jupiter is in your sign, right? So you've still got that going on all the way until November 2000, oh, I guess November 2018. Yeah, we're in 2018. So November 8th, 2018, you have got Jupiter in your sign. And remember, Jupiter always wants us to expand out. He doesn't wanna just expand our thinking or our bodies or anything like that. He wants us to take ourselves out in the world. So you are certainly, we know, over this next handful of months, moving out into the world in a much different way than we have seen you in a very long time. So I think this energy goes tandem with you finding out what's your new soul level purpose? What's your new calling? Who are you out in the world right now? As well, all month long, we're going to have Mars here in Sagittarius. This is wonderful, giving you action, giving you move. He's one of your co-ruling energies. So giving you some motion towards one, developing a talent that maybe you have and actually being willing to showcase it in some way that you can actually start to make money for it, from it. You could also be making some kind of investment, um, buying something, right? You could be investing in travel, investing in education. All things Sagittarian become very open for investigation for you, although this is happening in the second house. So certainly some money could be coming your way as well, but it's because you're gonna go out and make it in some way, shape, or form, probably with your cool newfound talent, I think. But the big news I think of the month, even though we've also got this solar eclipse happening, the big news I think is really this Venus-Neptune energy. So let's just jump in and talk right about that. Right here on the 10th, Venus is going to move into Pisces, and this is in your fifth house, very expressive. This is the house of true love, self-expression, romance, dating, children come in here. But this place of the heart, what is really important to you, Scorpio? What is here? What is here? right so this energy is going to be at the top of your charts to be talking about now for those who are in um, romantic relationships you could have a lot of romantic expression going on right now if you're having problems in a relationship this could be a time where you are trying to find a harmonious way to express you know shave off some of those rough edges of what's been going on and actually have a harmonizing or diplomatic conversation that is helpful there's a lot of support there's a lot of like, it's like kind of chatting on a cloud when Venus and Neptune come around. So it's actually there to be very, very helpful. Now, for some of you, you will just have new ideas around children. You will have connections with children or something like that, especially because this solar eclipse that's going to be happening on the 15th in the sign of Aquarius, making a connection to Uranus is gonna be in your fourth house. So home, family, real estate, property, all of those things come up for conversation. And some of this could look like maybe you've got something going on with a child coming into your house. Maybe a child is leaving your house. Maybe you wanna do a renovation. This is our new moon for the month. 
So you're gonna wanna plant those seeds of intention. And maybe you want your housing life, your property life, your life of your internal foundations to be set way differently than you ever thought they would. Maybe it just, you're wanting something completely different, but whatever it is, whatever the project, whatever the adjustment is that you're trying to kick off, we plant the seeds of intention of how you'd like this to look. What does this new beginning do for you right here on the 15th, okay? Now, as we get to the 17th of the month, I gotta tell you, conversation, decision-making, um, fact checking these things get a little bit frustrating and vague okay because on the 17th we're going to have mercury move into pisces mercury and pisces beautiful forgiving conversation compassionate conversation conversation about things that are maybe very romantic this is also in your fifth house great conversation with your children right just a very wonderful harmonizing beautiful energy but mercury is not strong here to make accurate decisions because he's in fall in pisces he's not comfortable mercury wants to make quick well detailed well mapped out quickly communicated decisions and he can't do that in pisces because it's like too blurry it's like trying to make decisions in a stream of water that you can't see through it's just too blurry and that is going to be the continuing trend as we get to the end of the month that's why i say if you can wait to make any really big decisions until the end of the month that would be great now if you're just over here using this energy towards the romance towards the play towards the hey we should just go out and get whipped cream to rub on our bodies that would be fun and different okay that's probably fine but if you're like hey i should sue my ex for custody because i feel like it this is not that month, okay? <laughs> like, let's just be on pause for a minute. You've got a new beginning in place. Give it a couple weeks to see what comes from that information, right? So we've got um, Mercury moving into Pisces on the 17th, Sun moving into Pisces on the 18th, Mars in a square to Neptune. So our action is also kind of confusing. We're maybe not in, as clear with what we're doing with our action action as well. Then we've got Mercury aligning with Neptune on the 25th and Mercury in a square to Mars on the 28th. It is frustrating, confusing conversation and action. So if you can just kind of lay low and, and understand success is coming, a newness is coming. Understand that your readiness to begin something new, a new chapter, a new start is acknowledged and accepted and is coming, Scorpio, okay? Use this month to play. Have a lot of joy. The fifth house is the joy house, so just dig in, get your fingers all yucky, pruny in the joy, in the play, and in the expression. And this does also leave space for new investments if you are looking to make any of those, okay? All right, Scorpios, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you at $3 Thursday this month, where we will be talking about the transiting planets as it relates to the natal chart and the horoscope. As well, I've got my brand new Astrology 101 class reformatted, ready to go, and I'll be launching the March session, which starts March 10th for $50. You can take all five weeks of this course and study live with me for $50 this session only. Click in the description box down below. I hope that you will be there. All right, guys, I love you and I will see you next month. Bye.